Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next session of videos on transition diagram of flip flops. In the previous video sessions, we have studied a lot about the ways in which a flip flop can be represented. We know that a flip flop can be represented using block diagram, circuit diagram, I triple E symbol diagram, or by using a characteristic equation. This particular topic, what we are going to handle now in this particular video, is an advanced version of characteristic equation. Or we can also say that this is one more way or an alternate way in which you can represent a flip flop. So when I say it's a transition diagram, transition diagram is a diagram which will give information regarding the transition of the flip flop from one state to other. So when I say it's a state, it all means that the data that is stored in the flip flop. So as you all know, a flip flop is a one bit storage device. It can store one bit of data. So when I say that it is going to change the state, it is going to change the state either from zero to one or 1 from 0. So, in this particular transition diagram, we are going to check what are the possible combinations of input that can be given to the flip flops in order to make its transition from one state to other state. Or in simple ways, you can say that what are the possible combinations of input that can be given to the flip flop if you need to change the data that is already stored in the flip flop. So, the very first flip flop what we are going to take for the study purpose is SR flip flop or you can call it as set reset flip flop. So we already know the truth table of an SR flip flop. So I am not going to write it down again. So I, which means that I am very familiar with writing the truth table of an SR flip flop. We know that if it is 0 and 0 the previous state is exhibited. If it is 0 and 1 the data in the flip flop is going to be reset or it is going to become 0. If it is 1 and 0, the data in the flip flop is going to become 1 or it is entering into a set state. And if it is 1 and 1, it will be into an illegal state. This is what we have studied. The same truth ta table has to be transferred into a diagram. And the diagram to which we are transferring that truth table is called as transition diagram. So let's take it down here. The two states of the flip flop are 0 and 1. These are the two states of the flip flop. So, this is 0 and this is 1. Your flip flop can either maintain the data as 0 itself or it can either the maintain or it can either maintain the data as 1 itself. So, if the previous data is 0, I can give the input to the flip flop so that my data will not change. If the previous state is 1, I can give the input to the flip flop so that my previous data will not change. Or you can give input to the flip flop so that the data stored in the flip flop will transit from one state to other state. That is it will uh, change from 0 to 1 or it will change either from 1 to 0, isn't it? This is how it has to be studied. So now what I need to do is. I need to study what are the possible combinations of S and R that can be given to this particular flip flop if this particular flip flop has to make a transition from one state to other state or if it has to retain the same state. So if the present state is 0 and if my flip flop has to retain the same state, I can either give the input as 0, 0 or you can also give the input as 0. 1, isn't it? So, if you give the input as 0, 0, 0 itself will be maintained. If you give the input as 0, 1, again it will enter into a reset state. In the simple sense, I can say that I can give an input combination of S and R which is 0x because it is 0, 0, 0, 1. So, I can either give 0, 1 or 0, 0. In simple ways, I can say it is 0x. Similarly, if the present state is 1 and if you want the same state to be maintained, I can give the data input to be 0, 0 or you can also give the input as 1, 0. 0, 0, the previous state will be maintained. If you give the data input as 1, 0, my flip flop will enter into a set state which means that 1 will be maintained. In simple ways, 
I can say the data input what has to be given to this flip flop is x0. Similarly, if the present state is 0 and if you want the flip flop to be changing the state from 0 to 1, if you want the flip flop to be changing the state from 0 to 1, you need to give the input as 1, 0. You have to, it is in the reset state, it has to go to set state. So, I need to make set high. Suppose the data input in the flip flop is 1 and if it has to change the state to 0 or if the flip flop is in the reset state and if it has to or if the flip flop is in the set state and if it has to enter into, into a reset state, you need to give the data input as 0, 1. The same has been represented here. Or you can write this as x0 or you can write this particular combinations of input as 0x. This is what is a transition diagram. So, this transition diagram says you what are the possible combinations of the input you can give to the flip flop in order to retain the same state or to transit from one state to the other state. This is regarding your SR flip flop. Moving on to the D flip flop. D flip flop is the transparent flip flop, right? So, if you want if 0 is the present state and if the same state has to be retained, you have to give the input D as 0. If 1 is the present state and if you want the same state to be retained, you have to give the input as 0. If the present state is 0 and if you want the next state to become 1, you need to give the data input D as 1. And if the present state is 1 and if you want to change the state to 0, you need to give the input as 0. So, this has got very close combination with the with the characteristic equation and the truth table what we have written. So, looking into this particular diagram you can decide or you can explain the behavior of the flip flop or you can tell how exactly the input that is given to the flip flop will be changing the output of that particular flip flop. So, this is with respect to your D flip flop. Moving on further, a very versatile kind of flip flop which is used in enormous number of applications are JK flip flop. The only difference with respect to JK and SR flip flop is my JK flip flop will toggle. It is going to toggle when the combinations of the input J and K are equal to 1 and 1. When both are equal to 1 and 1, my output is going to toggle. Toggle in the sense, if the present input is 0, if you give or if the present data that is stored in the flip flop is 0 and if you give the input combinations to be 1 and 1, it will change to 1. Suppose if it is 1 and if you give the data input to be 1 and 1, it will change to 0. This is what is called as toggling. Toggling in the sense it will change your state from one state to other state. The same has to be represented in the transition diagram. So, the transition diagram has been written here. So, 0 is one state, 1 is other state. If the same state has to be maintained, if the flip flop has got a data of 0 and if it has to retain the same state, you can give the input combinations to be either 0, 0 or you can give the input combinations to be 0, 1, which means you can give the input combinations to be 0, x, very similar to your SR flip flop. See, it is given here. J and K can either giving the input 0, 0 will retain the state 0 itself or you can also give an input combination of 0, 1 which will retain the state 0 itself, which means that you need to give the input combination of 0, x. Similarly, if the present state is 1 and if you want the same state to be maintained, you can give the input combinations to be 0, 0 or you can set it. Set it in the sense you can give the input combination to be 1, 0 which is x, 0. If the present state is 0 and if you want the next state to become 1, this is in the reset state and you want to go to into the set state. So, what you can do? You can give the input combinations to be either 1, 0 or you can go to the input combinations 1 and 1. See, I told you, if it is 0 and if you give the input combinations 1 and 1, it will change your state to 1. So, you can give the input combination either to be 1, 0 or 1, 1, which means that you can give the input combinations to be 1x. Similarly, if the present state is 1 and if you want it to change to 0, you can reset it. Resetting in the sense, it can make it 0, 1. Or you can make it toggle. How can you make it toggle? You can make it toggle by give the, giving the input combinations 1, 1. In the simple sense, you can make the input combination to be x, 1. So, this is the transition diagram of your JK flip flop, which explains you how the transition will happen from one state to other 
and what are the possible combinations of the input that can be given. This is all regarding the JK flip flop. The last flip flop what we are going to look into is your C flip flop. C flip flop what it is going to do us when the input C is equal to 1, when the input C is equal to 1, it will change its state. If the input C is equal to 0, it will retain the same state. In the simple way, this is how you understand it. If T input is 1, it will change its state, it will toggle. If T is equal to 0, it will not change the state. See here, input, input is 0, input is 1. If you want the same state to be retained, you need to give the input as 0. If the data input is 0 and if you want the state to change to 1, you need to give the input as 1. If the input, if the data input, data is 1 and you want the state to change to 1, you need to give the input as 1, which means that whenever the input t is equal to 1, your flip flop is going to alternate. Your flip flop is going to change the data that is stored inside the flip flop. This is regarding the transition diagram of the flip flop that is SR, D, J, K and T flip flop. An alternate way of representing a flip flop. You can either represent it using truth table, circuit diagram, symbolic diagram, block diagram, characteristic equation, also using C flip flops. All this particular ways of representation of the flip flops has been summed up and they have come up with one single table and that table is called as excitation table. So, for the flip flops, I can represent it using truth table or also I can represent it using excitation table. Check out here. This is your present state. This is your next state. So, present state is 0, next state should also be 0. Present state is 0, next state is 1. Present state is 1, next state is 0. Present state is 1, next state is 1. If the flip flop has to make the transitions between this particular states, what are the possible combinations of the input that can be given? That is what is represented here. Present state is 0, I want the next state also to be 0. So, you can give the input combinations to be either, we have studied it previously, if you can check out here. If it is 0 and if it has to retain the same state, you can give it as 0, 1 or 0, 0. So, you can see here, you can give the input as 0, 1 or 0, 0. That is why I represented this as 0, x. If the present state is 0 and next state is 1, which means you have to set the flip flop. Setting means you have to give it as 1, 0. 1 add to 0, which means you have to reset. You give the input combinations to be 0, 1. 1 and the same has to be maintained. 1 and same has to be maintained, we will check out here. 1 and same has to be maintained. You can give 0, 0 or 1, 0. So, check out here. You can give it as 1, 0 or 0, 0, which means you can give the input combinations to be x, 0. This is with respect to your SR flip flop, the summation of what we have studied previously. JK. For JK also, the similarity remains the same. 0, next state to be 0, 0 x, 0 and 1. Present state is 0, next state should be 1. Then you have to give the input combination of either 1, 0 or 1, 1, which makes it to be 1 x. Present state is 1, next state is 0. You can give the combinations to be x, 0, 1 or 1, 1. So, it, it has to toggle, right? It has to toggle. If it is 1, it has to become 0. It has to toggle. What are the combinations? You can give it as 1, 1 or 1, 0. Suppose if it is uh, uh, 1 and if it has to toggle to 0, it should be 1, 1 or 0, 1. If it is 1 and if it has to remain 1, it need not toggle. It should be 0, 0 or 1, 0. This is with respect to your JK flip flop. Moving on to your D flip flop. If it has to be 0, it has to become 0. So, you can just copy down the same table for your D flip flop because it is a transparent. So, whatever data you are giving here, the same will be reflected here. If you are giving 0 here, 0 will be reflected. If you are giving 1 here, 1 will be reflected. If you are giving 0 here, 0. If you are giving 1 here, same will be reflected. C flip flop. C flip flop for the first and last combination, it has to remain the same. If it has to remain the same, give the inputs to be 0 and 0. If it has to change, if it has to change, give the input as 1 and 1. This is regarding the excitation table of your flip flop. So, hereby we wind up the video sessions of the VHDL, latches and flip flop. So, we have looked into the very basic building block of a memory. We have not yet started building up the memory. So, in the coming classes or maybe in the coming modules, we need to build the memory with respect to the basic building blocks what we have studied 
till now. That is, we have studied latches and flip flops, right? We need to combine this latches and flip flops and we need to start building up bigger blocks. Thank you.